Thank you very much, uh, last cure. Uh, this pill is a bit like the cured egg. It's good in parts, but it stinks in some of the others. Um, I've advocated since 1979 the extension of the franchise to the University of Limerick and Dublin City University. Uh, always been on side for that, uh, and I think that's a good thing. Um, uh, with regard to the, um, well, first of all, I also think the idea of an element of universal suffrage is terribly important for the democratic strengthening of, of this house. But with regard to democracy, uh, my friend up at the back there, who's just left, um, uh, challenged me on the question of democracy uh, for the county councils. He's, well, let me tell this house. I well remember the days when party officers used to get senators, lock them into the party rooms, tell them who to vote for, and stand over them until they voted for them. How democratic was that? I would like, I, I would like to ask. A big part? Your party among the others. Of course they did. I remember it. I saw it. I was an eyewitness to it. So nobody can challenge, nobody can challenge me on, on, on that one. Perhaps Senate, it's before Senate your time. I will not withdraw. Senate, I most no, certainly won't Senate withdraw. Senator Morris, you know. Well, I certainly did. I most certainly did. I most certainly did. Right, with regard to the, with regard to the bill. <laughs> with, with regard to the bill uh, itself, um, uh, first of all, the idea of one constituency, and I'll come back to this again, it is absolutely unmanageable and would lead to a kind of gerrymandering because you would gerrymander the young people out of it. Uh, then the reference to various institutions there, I think it should now be the technological university uh, that, is, that is mentioned in this bill. Um, as far as the register is concerned, yes, it is defective. There's no question about that, but there is no solution. Uh, because young people, they get the jobs, they move around, they go to England, they go to America, they come back, they go off on holidays, do this, that and the other, and they're virtually untraceable. It's a miracle that as many people are caught in the register uh, as are. Now, can I just say, uh, the other thing I think is this. I've asked several times for, for in Trinity that uh, they should give us access to the email addresses of constituents. I don't see why the hell they wouldn't. It's a way of communicating with them. So I would like to see this included in the bill. We should have access to the identification and email addresses of, of, of our constituents. I mean, that is uh, making democracy uh, considerably, considerably better. Now, then uh, we have the um, situation that in order to be eligible to be nominated as a candidate for the institution of higher education constituency, the person should be required to hold a requisite qualification. Well, I wonder what kind of lunatic produced that. I mean, they talk about elitism. There is elitism for you. I glory in the situation that for either the National University of Ireland or Trinity College, you don't have to have a degree. You just have to get a nominator, a seconder, and six assenters. And that's democratic. That's the way it, that's the way it should be, in, in, my, in, in, in my opinion. Uh, then, uh, the next thing is, yeah, the nomination is by the Taoiseach. I mean, I'd like to see anybody defend that as democratic. <laughs> it's a farce. You know, and of course it was intended uh, to give the, the government a balance. But this house should not be an oppositional, party-controlled house. It should be for people who have a professional interest, who are capable of adding something into the debate. They shouldn't necessarily have to be uh, members uh, of, of, a, of a political party. Despite the fact, I will acknowledge that uh, many, many excellent people had been nominated by the Taoiseach, and I'd like to pay tribute to the various Taoiseachs for the calibre of the people that they, have, that they have nominated. Now, with regard to the uh, electorate, now this is a real stinker. At every standard of general election, the electorate shall consist of Irish citizens who are resident in Ireland. Well, that's a couple of million to start off with. Uh, despite the fact that somebody gloried in the fact that one point something million never, never voted, but they have the access to the vote if they want. 
Uh, the first persons entitled to claim Irish citizenship in Northern Ireland and who reside in Northern Ireland or in the state. Oh, that's another few hundred thousand. Uh, Irish citizens who hold a current and valid Irish passport and who reside outside the state. And there's another few million for you. What about it? Shove them all in. The more the merrier. Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. Irish citizens holding a requisite qualification and who are graduates of an institution of higher education in the state and serving members of the Dáil, members of the Outgoing, and so on and so forth. I mean, I don't know how many million you have there. I mean, it is absolute madness. So, as I say, I, I support this bill. I'm not going to go on about it. I've already uh, uh, made points in the previous debate about, for example, revising and bringing up to date the nominating bodies. That's an obvious one. It really should be done. Uh, but, as I say, this, is, this bill is good in parts, like the curate's egg, but there are some absolutely glaring glaring defects in it, and I hope that they will be um, cured or amended. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, certainly. Thank you. Um, just in relation to the uh, Irish citizens, uh, our passport holders, uh, it's about 800,000. Well, that's a fairly big right. amount. I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't like to have to contact 800,000. Hmm. You know, I know we get postage. You certainly okay. would. That's another right. thing. Thank you. I mean, that's another thing. Now, I, I, I still have a minute or so. I'm not, sure, since you I'm do, just yeah. provoked. Okay. I'm just going to say, uh, what happened to the envelopes? You know, we don't get, we get what? I remember when it was 2,500. It's now down to 350. I mean, that is absolute nonsense, particularly for people like myself who use the envelopes to contact constituents with newsletters. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you indeed, Senator.